What's up, Black Desert Mobile fans? In this week's Patch Notes video, Black Desert Mobile gave us a couple new goodies. We got a new town event area. It's called Termian. We got new special boss rushes. We got a new auto-repeat boss rush feature. We got a bunch of new goodies and events. I'm going to cover all that and more in this video. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. With that being said, let's dive right in. Before we get into the notes, I do want to say that Black Desert Mobile gave us a little Easter egg in here. I will cover that so that way you guys can be set up. The first thing we got is special boss rush. They added this boss rush feature. It's a difficulty version of the original boss rush. You can reap greater rewards when you defeat the bosses within that rush. You'll have a chance to obtain these boss stamps when making exchanges with regular boss stamps. So only when you exchange them do you get the special boss stamps. Uh, it's at, used to enter the difficulty ranges on a special boss rushes are the same as the related regular boss rushes. All right, moving on to ranked arenas. The ranked arenas have been changed. They completely took away all people's ranks. The matching system will now match you against other adventures based on your arena score in the ranked arena and not your CP. Hello? How does that make any sense? So now essentially what's going to happen is, is all the top CP people will be the highest ranked in the arena, regardless of your skill. So that's just switching the arena up to be a pay to win feature. There is a lot of goodies in the, in the arena and the remoteness now. They did tie it all together. It's in one spot for you to see. Uh, like I said, all the points did get exchanged. I'm not sure what the point of this was. I think this is a terrible idea. That's just my opinion. You're not going to be able to get high ranked if you are not paid to win. Uh, they did update and reorganize the CP ranks. So in the screen at the bottom of all your maps, they added a new rank to the character with the family CP and readjusted the percentage list. The personal CP rank calculation is now based on single, single character with the highest CP in the family instead of all characters in a family. And they did add two new ranks. They added Elite for top 10% and then Soldier for top 20%. They did add PvP content Great Rewards event. This is more specified toward nodes and Siege Wars and Arenas and Ramonis, but you get three times more guild bonuses when you win Node War and Siege Wars during the event period. You'll get better rewards from Arena and Ramonis during the event period as well. Field of Valor has ended, the tokens are gone. Shaka 2 has been updated, this is definitely a blessing. So if you have a lot of coins, the process just goes quicker. Uh, I mean, nothing changes. It looks cooler and the process goes quicker. Nothing else has changed aside from that. Boss Rush Auto Repeat feature. Hey, they gave us one little love there. They added the Auto Repeat feature and they didn't tie it to any combat camp or any pluses. You can just do it and, you know, put your phone or device on Auto Repeat on all the Boss Rushes and it'll do them whether you raise the difficulty or keep this kid difficulty the same. They did change the arena, you know, feature menu. Like I said earlier, the it's all in one section now. It does look nicer. It definitely is cooler. The rewards are definitely a lot better. I mean, you get a million silver for completing remoteness, I believe, three or four times. Uh, the Termian event is automatically approved once your Black Spirit level is 30 or above. So if you don't have that, it will automatically reset the next day. Arena rankings will not appear today, so you can't get your one free Black Pearls today. It will be updated tomorrow once everybody goes and does some arenas. There's the secret. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Information for next week's update. For next week, adventurers can now use Mystical Gear to craft up to three slot Mystical Gear. For those that don't know what three slot Mystical Gear is, I will have a video out later today going over that. They did increase the boss level reward has been increased to level 50 and the improved matching feature on normal arena to allow more adventurers to match up. The UI, they did fix some UI. Adventurers with the world famous title will now see advice for CP growth from the death window only if you have that feature. So the world famous title. The animation for auto exchange has been simplified. The new arena now includes the pre previous arena content as well. The menu also includes previous Ramonas and Arena, as well as the new newly added ranking system, all in that one screen for you. Uh, when you auto, when you tap auto select on Tower Trials, a message will now appear if there's not enough members due to a character who can level up. So you do want to make sure you do have to actually go to the other characters and level them up when you do Tower of Trials. Fix some UI features as well. You guys can definitely check all the in-depth. There isn't anything too crazy here that they fix with the UI. You can check that out over on their website, blackdesertmobile.com. That is in the description down below as well. They did also fix the Boss Rush Executioner autoplay feature wasn't working properly. They improved the character motions to appear more natural in the Blood Skin Kin screen for all classes. For the Titan, they fixed an issue where the damage from the last hit of Fearsome Tyrant AAL branch damage did not apply. 
And then for the Raven, they fixed an issue where some enhanced effects from Dark Paul's skill did not apply. And they changed the skill damage description for Wrath of Chaos. Instead of it doing 700% maximum of two hits, now it does 700% times two. So it doesn't have two hits, it just times two. So it's 1400% bam right away. And then they changed it for PvP as well. The fiction issue was sometimes sharp light skill damage did not apply. And they added two new events and we lost five events. So for events, the first event we got was go to Termian event. There is three mini games when you go to Termian. There's a Sky Shellfish Hammer, a Make Red Bean Ice Desserts event, and Stone Crab Cake Matching. The second event is the Defeat the Pirates event. It comes every day from 11 to 12 and from 1900 to 2000 server time. The pirates will appear at Termian Beach. I believe you have to kill about eight of them. And then the third one is heaps of quest rewards. You complete the Termian daily quest to earn the rewards. It is pretty solid. You have 50 magical essence, 70 residue, eight black stones. You can see all the different fair and poor black stones there as well. Now, to do this, so once you're in Termian, you actually can get to the list menu in the top left. You can see the three different repeatable quests every day. And then you can see there's three green exclamation quests. So make sure you guys go and knock all the ev events out here in Termian for the rewards. The next event we got is the PvP Great Reward event. This event does give three times the bonuses for arena and remoteness as well as node war and siege war. This event is going for seven days. The tournament event is going on for 14 days. The last event we got was the barbecue mission event. This is going for 14 days. You have to plant in the garden. You have to gather with workers and consume stamina. Once you do all three of those, you get the uh, tokens to turn in. Well, you get the barbecue firewood, barbecue skewer, skewer and the meat. And then you get the Paprika Seeds 9, Golden Loot Chest 7, Mid-Grade Resource Chest times 4. When none of that seems that great, but if the barbecue roast is like a chicken soup, that is pretty solid. Uh, I mean, the Mid-Grade Resources Chest is fine. The Gold Loot could give you some silver. It's not going to be a ton. The Paprika Seeds are a waste. For the Boss Rush, they did give us the Auto Start All Boss Rush feature on the right here. If you click on that feature, you can actually raise the difficulty or do a minimum multiplier. And it will start off on the first boss rush, and you will do all of them. So if you have a lot of boss rushes stockpiled, this is definitely going to be a quicker way to do them. Obviously, it doesn't require you to have combat plus with this, but it, the higher your multiplier is, the quicker it's going to go through these. So if you have a combat plus, it's going to go through them quicker. If you don't, this is still a better option for those of us that don't have a combat plus to knock out all of our boss rushes if we don't have that combat plus option. So that is nice feature thank you for that as far as the special boss rushes you do have to turn in your stamps now i didn't stockpile any stamps unfortunately but once you turn in stamps you do have a chance to get the special boss rush once you get that uh, period it does offer better rewards the arena as well has been updated so you still have the normal arena on the right and the family arena on the right family arena has definitely been updated it looks a lot better it's going to be easier to use as far as the ranked arenas, so a couple points here. You do have to do 10 matches first in the ranked arenas. If The more matches you win in a row, you get better bonuses as well. The daily victory rewards are as follows. 200,000 silver, a chance for a unique to epic grade crystal. So that's pretty solid. Two good black stones and 10 fair black stones. That is the arenas. You can see the arena ranks as well. There is none at the moment. You can't send praise. You can't give anybody anything right now because it's not updated with anybody's rank until tomorrow. The remoteness has also been updated. So once you get 400 points of remoteness daily, you do get the 1 million silver, 50 boss stamps, 50 ancient tablets, and 8 good black stones. So those rewards are pretty solid. They're updated for the remoteness. So this has definitely been updated. It looks a lot cleaner. Now you can see all the ranks in one tab there on the left. If you click on the arena rank in the top there, you can actually see the different ranks. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master, and challenger. And then there's rank one, rank two, and rank three. So everybody's above their head will look a little bit different. That is the updated arena ranks. The family ranks have been updated as well, so that looks a lot cleaner as well. And then the character also. 
The last thing that's been updated is Shaka 2. This is great if you have a lot of coins to roll. You do want to make sure you pay attention because it does go through coins a lot quicker. So if you don't want to roll a whole lot of coins, you got to make sure you, you, know, you pay attention and stop it. To activate this, you actually have to click the auto buy feature in the bottom down there. Not buy again. Don't go and roll singles or 10 at a time. You actually got to click the auto buy feature down there. So I'm going to roll all 5,000 coins on my warrior's weapon here, his sword. I just, uh, I'm just leveling up a warrior. I had about 5,000 coins. It looks a lot cooler. It definitely looks cool with all the weapons showing up there. It still shows you how much residue you're getting in the bottom. I did pull a uh, yellow. Okay. Looked like it was orange there for a second. It was kind of tricky. I see all these look like they're going to be great weapons. You don't know. If it'd be red, that would just be amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's everything for this week's patch notes video. Galaverto. I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that being said, I will see you next time. There was an orange. That was an orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.